My god, Chase, are we still in this scary neighborhood? Get us out of here! Bison, it's the same neighborhood we're always in. It's just different because it's Halloween. Well, I don't like it. I swear we're being followed. Dude, it's your imagination. Come on. Look, here we are at Target. Nice and safe. Look, there's candy. Ooh, candy. I want to get a big boy bar. There is no such thing as a big boy bar. Anywho. Uh, here we are looking at Target. Still no new Hall of Fame figures. Uh, not even new at this point. They're kind of old. Which Hall of Fame figures are you looking for, Chase? The Macho Man? Because there he is! Ooh, yeah! And look, there's the Million Dollar Man! There's some zombies! There's a Hulk Hogan left! Well, I just wanted to see if, I don't know, maybe they had the brand new... Um, I was looking for the new Hall of Fame figures, the Series 4 wave, with Edge, Sting, Jerry Lawler, but sadly, they don't have it. Oh yeah, and King Booker was supposed to be a part of that, but hey, look at this! Ooh, isn't that a strange thing? We stop it with the bad puns. Anyway, they got the new uh, Doctor Strange Marvel Legends. That one's pretty cool. And they still got some X-Men Marvel Legends in there. Those are dope. Still not going to pick up that Civil War set, but damn. I really wanted to get this figure. I still don't even know this girl's name. I'm going to have to add it into the annotations because I just don't know why I can't remember it, but she's freaking badass. Ooh, Brother Voodoo. You think he's the brother to Papa Shango? How do you think he feels about his brother becoming a pimp? I don't think they're related, Bison. Oh, how would you know? You Chase, will you calm down? You almost dropped Carl. Did you see what I did there? Carl. Yeah, I know. You're making fun of Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. Awesome. How original. Anyway, here's uh, Carl Mordor? Mord Mord Mordo? Mordo. And yeah, so just... uh. Just taking a look at the paint job on this chick, and yeah, it looks pretty awesome. I have a I have a really, really cool video I've been wanting to do for almost a year now, and I think she's going to be awesome in that. I just need to find a female voice actress, and we're good to go. Now what are you doing? Stop touching the camera. Move your finger, Chase. God! Just try to act like a professional. You're embarrassing me! You think I want to sit here in this damn store looking for your figures? No, I've got things I want to do. Well, then go do them and leave me the hell alone. Anyway, here's some uh, Star Wars Black Series figures. This one actually kind of looks like my dad. I think that's kind of funny. Your dad was in Star Wars? No, but I said I say he looks like my dad. Well, you don't know what your dad's up to. Yeah, if the, the, I'm probably older than the actor playing that guy. Ooh, Kylo Ren. Look at him. So pouty. He's probably saying, Cheers. Get your damn fingers away from the camera lens, Chase! <sighs> Seriously, Bison, just let it go. This, it's kind of hard to do this thing, alright? I'm used to shooting this stuff with an iPhone. Now I have an Android. Oh, is that why the picture is just so much better? Look at... Ooh, what? What are you doing? I'm playing with the Chewbacca mask. <coughs> oh. Ha 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 ha! That's hilarious! Chase, have you seen that video with the mom wearing the Chewbacca mask? Yeah, I've seen it, Bison. So this was kind of cool. Target was selling uh, WW2K17, and when you bought it, you got a free figure. All right, now we're at Walmart. Halloween time! Uh, whoops. Okay, let's just agree. Mistakes were made! Bison, let's get the hell out of here! You know, for a scrawny little guy, you move pretty quick. Bison, shut up, man. I do not need to go to jail again. Seriously, you need to put that damn rocket launcher down. Well, at least I can't destroy anything in here. Damn near everything's gone! I know, dudes. This is surreal, man. I'm so used to seeing this store. Here we are at Hastings, and this place is just wiped out. It is almost a barren wasteland. Speaking of barren wastelands, do you think we'll find the Ascension here? I mean, Lord knows they're not doing anything else on SmackDown. Might as well be here. Well, you got a good point there, Bison. A sad point. Anyway, there's the uh, there's the Mafex Joker. <sighs> Remember paying full price for that thing. Now, now, God, it's discounted beyond belief, man. Still got some bat pods in here too. A little bit, a little bit cheaper for what I than what I paid for them, but you know, not too bad. Yeah, they still have a ton of them. <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous, man. Now they're at thirty dollars. In fact, I think they were. I think they were discounted even more. I mean, I went here again just recently, and everything was 80 to 90% off. 
Ooh, that's a snazzy wallet there, Chase. Did you get it? Well, I thought about getting it, but I decided to put it back. I mean, it is neat looking, but I I have the most badass wallet of all time right now. My Street Fighter 2 wallet. Mm, yes, that is badass. Am I on there? No, it's Ken and Blanca. Damn it, Chase! Find a wallet with my face on it. I demand you keep your cash with my face. Seriously, what the hell is wrong with you? Anyway, just scoping out what they got here, and they got some pretty cool stuff. I mean, you saw the the Gotham City figures there. They got some Marvel uh, Marvel Selects. Here's uh, Jane Foster from Thor: The Dark World. Not a bad likeness to Natalie Portman, but even at a discounted rate, it's not a figure I need. These Jay and Silent Bob figures look pretty cool. If they still had the uh, uh, the ones from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, I would have picked those up just because they're in color. Uh, it's just some more crap here. Well, not really crap. I mean, a lot of people like this stuff. Uh, here's an alien set for the Mini Mates. They got Kill Bill, Pulp Fiction, uh, Back to the Future. They have a ton of Simpsons figures. In fact, I actually picked up that Tom Hanks recently. And he was discounted so much, I got him for a dollar. Chase, why the hell do you want a Simpsons action figure of Tom Hanks? Well, because Tom Hanks is a good guy. And when when have they ever made a Tom Hanks action figure? And I know Captain McKay would appreciate that set. Well, then why don't you get it for him? Wasn't it just his birthday, October the 11th, the same day WWE 2K17 came out? Well, you know, you got a point there, Bison. I might pick that up for him, or this uh, sweet Magneto helmet that I saw over where the uh, DVDs and stuff were at. I just got to, hopefully they have it there, you know, on the weekend. Anyway, here's an Attack on Titan Sin Cara, or, you know, just a giant size Sin Cara. So right now the action figures are at 70%, and I cleaned up a little bit in this area. Um, but when I came back, at when they were at 80, 90%, dude, I... <laughs> I clean freaking house. Did you get it on video? Uh, sadly, no. My phone was about to die, and my hands were full, so it was kind of hard to shoot video if I was going to carry all that stuff. Damn it, Chase! We're missing all the exciting stuff. Instead, we're here looking at Black Adam. What's your, what's your deal with Black Adam? Oh, he just thinks he's so badass. You know what he looks like? He looks like a cross between Gollum and Shazam! Well, why Gollum? Because he has those pointy ears. And look at that face. He's an ugly. He's an ugly? He's an uggo! Okay. Okay, so now we've added some new lore to the channel. Bison hates Black Adam. And uh, we got the Terminator 2 Sarah, uh, Sarah Connor figure here. Got three of them. And they have the uh, video game version from T2. Here we got um, one of the Terminators from... Uh, it's the end of Skeleton from Robocop vs. Terminator. There's the Genesis uh, T-1000. Got the Guardian. Um, pretty Not the old man Arnold, but the uh, uh, the 80s Arnold, I guess. Still technically old, but, you know, it was before they aged him in the movie. So, as cool as this thing would have been, um, I decided not to get that one. I did eventually pick up the T-1000. I just didn't get it on this trip, so we're going to go ahead and add that to my list of purchases. Let's see, it's a pretty cool Back to the Future lunchbox. Ooh, that reminds me. If you see a Hello Kitty one, be sure and pick that up for me. My lunchbox broke on the way to work today. First of all, why do you have a Hello Kitty lunchbox? Secondly, how did it break? Well, hmm, ever since you guys started teasing me about the death battle with Shao Kahn, every day, there they are. Quan Chi and the rest of his little Mortal Kombat gang, and they started picking on me, and then I smacked Quan Chi right in the face with the lunchbox, and it broke. Where were you Where were you guys going? We were going to our evil cafe. Okay, you guys all meet up at an evil cafe? Yes, haven't you ever heard of the Villain's Pub? Was well, it a cafe or a pub? Damn it, Chase! Okay, so you guys went to the Villain's Pub, which I'm assuming is the Villain's Pub from... Chase, will you please hold on to the damn action figures? It scares me when you drop them. Well, Bison, if that scares you, what about this? What about what? I don't Puppy. see... Ah! Ah! Damn it, Chase! <laughs> uh, ah, that's good times. 
Okay, so you're getting a you, you got assaulted at the villains pub and you attacked Quan Chi with the lunchbox. Is is that what was going on between you two uh, when he was talking about he on that video that we put out for Captain McKay Random when we were helping him hype up uh, JWF Collision? I don't know. He hasn't confirmed anything. All I know is, is that he's planning something and oh god, that's one terrible looking mockingbird. How can she see in those things? Yeah, I know. That's one cross-eyed mockingbird. Anyway, they got a ton of Marvel Legends here. Sadly, nothing I really needed. Uh, they had the Arrow figures on here. They had this sweet Commissioner Gordon figure that I'm actually really upset by because it was here. I thought, okay, as much as I want this one, maybe I would want the Arkham, Arkham Knight version of it a little bit more. And then I kept going back and forth. And then I just didn't get either one of them. And now they don't have that one anymore, so I'm kicking myself in the butt for that. Anyway, they got a sweet-looking dead man. Uh, they got the Robin from the Batman animated series. Oh, they did. Uh, they still have plenty of these uh, Jim Gordons left, so I might pick that one up if I can't find that one ever again, mainly because I want an updated Jim Gordon. And, oh, I just wanted this one so badly because I love the face sculpt on it. His radio looks much better. His gun looks better than the other one. And I love that jacket. It's really freaking cool. Well, Chase, you live and you learn. Next time, pick up the figure you want when you see it. And oh my goodness, what the hell did they do to this Miley Cyrus action figure? Um, as hilarious as I think that is, that's not Miley Cyrus. It's Man Bat from Arkham, from Arkham Knight. Seriously, that is one of the most disgusting looking figures I've ever seen. Speaking of disgusting, why does Captain America have a dog's head in there? Shouldn't parents and PETA be outraged that he chopped off a dog's head and put his own mask on there? No, Bison, that's, um, that's Cap Wolf. It's, it's a thing I don't want to get into. Anyway, they had a pretty cool Swamp Thing action figure there. Uh, not a whole lot else here, so, I mean, they got the Gotham City set, and I don't think I picked much else up from this trip. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the Kevin McAllister figure. Now, I did get this one, so I'm going to add it to the purchase list. I just didn't get it on, on that trip. But check this thing out. Ooh, look at that Undertaker DVD set. And Batista! You picked up Batista, didn't you? Yes, I did. Freaking awesome. Anywho, now we're over here at Toys R Us. And I wonder what we'll find. Here we see some uh, basic figures. We got that Seth Rollins, which I did have, but got rid of it. And here's the, I have seen some stuff, Kofi Kingston. Well, if I had to ride in a car with Biggie Langston and Xavier Woods, I probably would have seen some stuff too. Plus, he's been in the business a long time. Who knows what that man has seen. And here's that uh, Robin that Captain McKay was talking about on the 616 Entertainment Podcast. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. It's quite entertaining. This doesn't look like Henry Cavill. That doesn't look like Superman at all. This doesn't look like Ben Affleck. That kind of looks like Supergirl. That's pretty good, though. So moving on. I wonder what else we're going to find here at the old Toys R Us. Here's this uh, giant Dragon Zord figure. Like, this was my favorite part about the Power Rangers. I really wasn't into them fighting in their costumes with the weapons and stuff like that. Watching them kick ass in the Zords, that was my thing. And the Dragon Zord was my favorite because it reminded me of Godzilla. Wow, Chase. No one freaking cares about your little Power Rangers. They want to see action figures. Okay. Calm down. Anywho, here's a pretty cool badass uh, Halo set. I'm thinking about picking this up just to get the ghost and uh, the rifle it came with. That'd be a pretty cool accessory for you guys to have. And dudes, check this out. Animal from the Muppets, and he comes with a drum set. That's freaking awesome. And they got the critics, but sadly they don't have their uh, their little booth. Otherwise, I would have gotten that. But yeah, that animal set's awesome. <laughs> and here we have uh, Bunsen and Beaker. I, I need to get that. It looks like Beaker's mouth is articulated, so I, I can think of a million uh, uses for Beaker. Chase, look! Stretch Armstrong! Chase, Chase, get, get Stretch Armstrong! You could stretch him out, and then he'll just go back to normal, and then you could stretch him again. Yeah, this is actually really cool. Toys R Us is going retro with this thing. They have the original Stretch Armstrong in here. Chase, do you remember the awesome Stretch Armstrong from the 90s and all his cool, badass little spin-offs? 
Yeah, I do. If you guys can, you should Google Stretch Armstrong in the 90s. They had some cool stuff. I'm loving this aisle for NECA and all these like really niche figures, but I know you guys, you want to see the WWE figures, and here we go. The Doctor of Thugonomics! Chase, tell me you got this one. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. No, Bison, I did not. What is the matter with you? This is a brand new defining moment! Well, you see, that's the reason, Bison, and I'm going to go on a bit of a rant here. I didn't pick this figure up for many reasons. The first one being, this is not a defining moments figure to me. I defended it online because I hadn't seen it yet, but you know something? I, I, I don't like it. The hat, like the outfit's cool, the hat, uh, the visor's awesome, but there's so much wrong with this figure. His armband's painted on, his shirt's made out of rubber, his face doesn't look anything like retro John Cena. It's a modern Cena face sculpt. I'm just not happy with it. I'm not happy with how the Defining Moments line is going right now. And the figures that they have here for that, sadly they don't have the uh, network exclusive Bailey or the NXT ring yet. I'm really pe peeved off at that. I gotta get that thing soon. But yeah, I, I just, uh, that Defining Moments John Cena is kind of the, you know, the straw that broke this camel's back, man. I'm not gonna be picking it up. As, as cool as the visor, the chain are, I, and I love the word life knuckles. If it's on discount, I might pick it up, but not for $24.99. Not for $19.99. I mean, you know, I don't know what I mean. It's just, I'm so disappointed with that figure. Well, Chase, let's go to GameStop. Let's see what they got there. Okay, here we are. Well, they got the Suplex City Brock Lesnar. This thing's exclusive to the store, thanks to Brock Lesnar being the cover star to 2K17. I like the cloth shirt, but there's really no reason to pick this figure up. Not for 20, 22 plus dollars. They got Bret Hart. They got Kofi. I think they had a Samoa Joe back there, but I'm not certain. But I got the figure, so why would I need it? But this is the real reason why I stopped in there, dudes. They had one copy left of the NXT edition of WWE 2K17, and I freaking got it, baby. Well, of course they know you have it. You've done like 17 live streams on the game, and you already played a Shinsuke Nakamura. We know you have the damn game. Okay, calm down. Anywho, this is um, stuff I picked up for my second trip to Hastings. I got all of this stuff for $50 because everything at that place is 80 to 90% off. Dudes, I freaking cleaned house. It's amazing. What a time to be alive, huh? Anywho. Thank you so much for checking out this episode of Figure Hunting with Chase and Bison. All right, guys. We will see you next time. Happy Halloween!